Okay, um, I have a weed eater here, and this is the motor. That's the weed eater here. I took the motor off, and this is the bar that goes inside this pole that goes all the way through and comes out on this end right here and latches to uh, this piece right here, which is where the uh, clutch goes. Uh, clutch of this weed eater right there. So that goes right in here and that's when it spins, the bar spins and the wheeler spins in the, in the end but what I did, uh, I'm trying to uh, attach this, uh, this piece right here so I can put it in a go-kart or a bike, whatever but it doesn't work so what I did is I, I, I looked inside and I cut this piece off from the wheeler now I have that, see that thing right there spinning well, that's long enough where I can latch this in there, like this. Um, the trick part is, and then then I can just you know manage to do that, or or e either way. But see, it's very wobbly. So what I did is I'm gonna cut this bar. I'm gonna cut a piece, and it's gonna go right up in here, where this this uh, latch is in here. There's a uh, Perfect. It's fitted to fit this and, and grab onto it without uh, stripping. So you can see, see that. So what I do is I'm gonna cut a piece of this. I'm gonna put this in here. Cut a piece off of this and stick it in there. And then weld that. It's gonna spin once I weld that right here. Weld it all around here. And then there I'm gonna have my uh, my sprocket working with the uh, the clutch, so it'll be all in one. So that's how I'm gonna turn that into a. Uh, so I will cut a piece here, stick it in there, make sure it grips on the right and it's tight in there. There you go. Weld it all around here. Figure out the best way to attach it to that. Cut right there, and then I'll have I'll have that. I'll have my tire with that. So I'll have these, wood here, right there, you can see it goes right there, have this wheel right here, this one only, on, it only, it, it's the solid wheel, and I have that there, and I have these right here, and then there you go, so I'll go with this, then I have two, uh, Tool now that I can put the chain on there, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'll show you guys in the next video.